All right, moving into the fundamental theorem of calculus, and part two of the fundamental theorem of calculus is using antiderivatives to get exact area. Now, we did exact area through Riemann sums earlier. Um, to get the exact area through antiderivatives, the area under that function from one to two is the antiderivative from one to two of x squared plus seven. And then uh, to solve that, we do the antiderivative first. So the antiderivative of x squared plus seven is x cubed over three. The antiderivative of seven is seven x. And we don't need the plus c because this is a definite integral. So we will evaluate that from one to two, which means I plug in the two first. Two cubed is eight over three plus seven times two is 14 minus, then I plug in the one. One cubed over three plus seven times one. And then we can do the arithmetic to clean that up. So there's 17, cleans up to 28 thirds. Number 18, same thing. We're gonna do the antiderivative from negative one to one of this function. And because I see an antiderivative in the future, I'm changing the cube root of x to x to the one third. And then we'll do the antiderivative of this, one third plus one is four thirds. And when you divide by that new exponent, that's the same as multiplying by three fourths. The antiderivative of two would be two x, and then we'll plug in negative one and one, and we'll see what that evaluates to. There we go, so that one, once I plugged in and did the arithmetic, that one ended up being negative four. But you're just doing the antiderivative of the function, and then you plug in your limits of integration and subtract. In the last one, area of under this function, so again, we'll set this up with an antiderivative. So antiderivative of 2x plus cosine x from 0 to pi over 6. And the antiderivative of 2x is x squared. Cosine is the derivative of sine. And then we'll evaluate this from 0 to pi over 6 and plug in. So we'll have pi over 6 squared plus the sine of pi over 6. And then all of that minus 0 squared plus the sine of 0. And that last one is just a 0. That's 0 plus 0. So that's equal to 0. This one can't really clean up pi over 6 squared. I suppose if you want to, you could say pi squared over 36. And the sine of pi over 6 is 1 half. Um, and really, I would be fine just stopping there. You don't really need to combine that if you don't want to. I think that's it for that section. Yep. All right. That was a quick one.